Good morning, everybody. My name is Reverend Linda Board, and I live in Virginia, and I have been on a journey of channeling Mary Magdalene since the beginning of this year. We are going through the 365 lessons of A Course in Miracles. She's bringing in the divine feminine perspective. And it's been quite an extraordinary journey. Good morning, Marianne. There are a few people that joined me live. Uh, we're in a webinar setting. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Marianne. And I'm going to read the lesson out loud. Then I will channel her, full body trans channel. And she will share some of her beautiful divine feminine wisdom with us on the lesson of the day. Interesting energy this morning. Huh. Um, anyway, today we are in lesson 230. And the lesson says, now I will seek and find the peace of God. And we are in part two of the lessons. And in part two, we're still being asked to meditate at, for 15 minutes in the morning, meditate at 15 minutes in the evening before bed and to check in every hour, to pause and give God about five minutes of our time. So I have these little alarms that are set for 8.55, 9.55, 10.55, so on throughout the day until 9.55 at night. And then at 10 o'clock, I close my phone and put it down. So I have some rest before going into the dream state. So here we are, lesson 230. Welcome, Gabriella. Okay, now I will seek and find the peace of God. In peace I was created, and in peace do I remain. It is not given me to change myself. How merciful is God, my Father, that when he created me, he gave me peace forever. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me when it is forever true? And here's the prayer. Father, I seek the peace you gave me as mine and my creation. What was given then must be here now, for my creation was apart from time and still remains beyond all change. The peace in which your son was born into your mind is shining there unchanged. I am as you created me. I need but call on you to find the peace you gave. It is your will that gave it to your son. So now I'm going to bring Magdalene through and share her with you. Mm. Greetings, beloved. Welcome to all, all who are here present, all who shall hear this message, all who shall read these words. Know that you were created into a field of love and peace. The only disturbance that there has ever been to this, beloved ones, has been, has been made to feel a sense of separation from the mind of God. This is done when a decision is made to say, ah, yes, let me see what it is like to create. However, if the creation is not done from heart of love, there is a feeling of separation. There is a feeling of distance. Yet that is the very fabric of the illusion. For where you exist, where you create from, is a field of peace and a field of love that is so vast that you must understand how large and how great the very essence of you is that you could seemingly find yourself to be away from 
her very nature. When you allow yourself to come into your heart, you find a richness and a quality of life that is the truth of you. But some days you decide to wander off, off the chosen path, off into the woods, and you encounter what seems like a seeming nightmare. Beloveds, there is one solitary thing that you can do that will always bring you back to the realm of love and the realm of peace. And that is to focus upon the breath that relinquishes you from the madness of the mind and brings and directs you down to the peace that lives within your heart. It is not so much physical condition, although this does lend itself to this cycle, but allow yourself to close your eyes from the duality of the world. Bring your consciousness within and then take a breath and merely say the words, God is, pause in that moment, beloved. And that is the alchemical shift that occurs, that moment of pause. And then as you exhale, you invoke the phrase, I am. And in that moment, beloved, you are completely reset to the balance of peace. And you will look upon another with a tender heart. And you will see that they are as well. And that is all that there is to them. None of the meaning that you have assigned, none of the blame that you have projected onto another or onto yourself ever existed. It is okay to allow yourself to experience the emotions as they move through you, but beloveds know that they are like the wind. You do not hold on to the wind. You are not angry at the wind for feeling that it is blowing upon you and you alone and punishing you. You merely allow this energy to move through, to come within and go without. And understand, beloved, that that same wind, that same sense of energetic emotion is the breath, the very breath that you breathe. As you are breathing, there is an energetic shift that is occurring within you. And when you bring consciousness to the breath, there you find the peace. It is the most similar, simple, exquisite formula that you could possibly imagine. It allows you to be at one with all things. So when you find something that is disturbing, beloveds, breathe into it. When this beloved one was doing her training for her yoga practices, and there was a point of what seemed to be pain, she was trained time and time again to breathe into the pain. For the pain represents an aspect of energy that is being held steadfast in resistance. So look for what it is that you resist today, beloved ones, and bring peace to that, bring breath to that. Know that the very will of God, beloved, is for you to be at home, for you to be in love, for you to be at peace. The truth cannot be denied. Although there have been many attempts to do so, the truth of you is the truth always, beloved ones. The ways in which you love, you love your children, you love your families, and you love your friends. Love yourselves. Love yourselves and will yourselves to peace. And reach out to God and say, show me the way back to the peace that you have bestowed upon me. Show me the way back to love. <clears throat> Let me hear my name. Let me hear your name. And then use this name to invoke the very presence, the very essence of God. Whatever that name is for you, beloved one. Allow yourself to invoke the presence of God within. And then all you shall experience is the presence and the love and the peace of God without. For you are the generator of all that you see. You are the very manifester of everything that you experience. It comes as a projection of that which is within and becomes that which is without. So when you look upon another and you 
judge or blame or criticize. Understand, beloveds, that you are only ever speaking to yourself. The divine projector of all it is that you experience. For this is the gift that was bestowed upon you at your creation. So allow yourself, beloved ones, dear, precious beings, to recognize the very power and the essence and the presence of peace and love that exists within you always. For that is your divine birthright. May love follow you. May love be recognized as being within and may love be recognized as being without for it is the very soup in which you live. It is the very essence of your existence. You have given birth to a magnificent creation. Allow yourself to love every part of it. Love is the only thing that is real and everything else is illusion. And will it indeed disappear? Back to the nothingness from whence it came. You have that ability within you at each and every moment to have that nominal transformation of consciousness that says, ah, oh, yes, here I am. Here is God living and existing and being as I am. For when I know that I am as God created me, how can I not recognize that you are as God created you and that you are as I have created you through my beliefs? So allow me today to be returned to the love of God each and every moment, with each and every breath. Blessings to you, beloved, dear friends. I love you, and I will speak with you again. Oh, thank you all for being here. Hi, Kimmy and Rosa Maria. Wishing you all the most beautiful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.